LS2 versus LS3. Which one makes more power stock and with minor mods and then with all the mods? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and as always, welcome to the channel. Today we're comparing the 6 liter LS2 versus the 6.2 liter LS3. Which one of them really makes more power in stock trim in mildly modified trim and then what happens when we throw the whole kitchen sink at both of them okay guys let's jump right in our comparison between the 6 liter ls2 and the 6.2 liter ls3 so if we take a look at our two competitors here one of them obviously is smaller 6 liters versus 6.2 the 6 liter also has cathedral port heads they're good ones they're 243s but they don't flow nearly what a set of rec port ls3 heads do on the larger motor we have different intake manifolds you know relatively speaking the ls2 intake manifold not nearly as good as the ls3 manifold so we have a lot of things going in favor of the LS3, but let's see how they did when we actually dyno tested them in stock-ish trim. This was a factory LS2. It was a crate motor supplied by GM Performance, specifically the guys at Gandrid Chevrolet. So shout out to the guys at Gandrid Chevrolet for this LS2. I did a ton of testing with this thing. We did it for the books that I wrote. And so lots and lots of testing on LS2, but obviously we had to start out with something that was just bone stock. And what we did was we put the LS2 up on the dyno. We ran it in stock trim. The change that we made it included running a manual 90 millimeter throttle body on the LS2 intake manifold. We ran it the way that we normally do with no air inlet system. We put a Mazir electric water pump. We also put inch and three quarter long tube headers feeding our MagnaFlow mufflers with, with you know fairly lengthy collector extensions on it. So it kind of had something to simulate an exhaust. Obviously a free flowing exhaust. And then we optimized the tune with the Holly HP management system. So that's why our numbers are higher than the factory numbers are. This thing was probably rated at 400 horsepower and we're making like 465. And it's because of all of those changes. We didn't test it the same way that the factory does. But run in this manner, our LS2, our six liter LS2, 464.5 horsepower, we'll call that 465, and 455 foot-pounds of torque. So well, let's see how that compares to the larger LS3. And here is our LS3. You can see the interesting thing is, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, is what happened down low. But if we get to the peak numbers, the LS3, as I said, bigger in displacement, 6.2 versus 6.0, freer flowing rec port heads. If you, if you want to put the numbers to these things, a factory 243 head probably flows like 250. The LS3 head flows way over 300, 310 or 315. So way more flow, in my opinion, the LS3 intake manifold, definitely better. So we take a look, there's a lot of things that are different about the LS3, and it may a lot more power run in the same manner with the Mazira electric water pump long tube headers and an optimized tune with our holly 495 horsepower peak torque checked in at 491 foot pounds so not only did it make more peak power more peak torque but if we look down low we see below 3500 rpm interestingly enough the little six liter made more torque so let me know in the comments what do you guys think do you think that that's because of the cathedral port head i've run that test before cathedral ports tend to make more low speed power and a lot of guys will argue about you know oh that's just static compression you know if you mill the rec port heads they'll make every bit the low speed power let me know what you guys think it's a smaller motor it has cathedral port heads you know you could take a look at the difference in compression ratio like take a look at the difference in intake manifolds let me know in the comments what you think but we're starting off the bigger <laughs> better head flow on the ls3 that thing makes more power in stock trim let's find out how it does with mods okay guys we took a look at a comparison between a stock ls2 with headers on it and a stock ls3 and not surprisingly the ls3 made more power but the interesting thing was we saw down low the ls2 actually did fairly well now let's take a look at some modified versions and on this ls2 this was a combination that we did that included heads cam and intake manifolds we had a stock bottom end with ring gap in it we had a set of ported uh, total engine airflow, ported 243 heads on this thing. We had a comp cam, which was a 54-469-11 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. We've used that cam an awful lot, and this, this was run a little while ago. We also topped that off with the ported heads and that comp cam with an MSD atomic intake manifold and 102 millimeter throttle body. We still had our headers in place, still had the Holly set up, and then we ran the motor, obviously. And run in this manner, we've made 561 horsepower. 
and 481 foot pounds of torque and as a comparison i'll go ahead and bring up here's what the stock one looked like where we made 465 horsepower and 455 foot pounds you can see the modified version actually dropped power a little bit um around 4200 compared to the stock one compared to the stock cam primarily because the two the 231 cam is fairly good size maybe also the msd intake manifold and ported heads maybe all that stuff played different but we can see how much power we gained um pretty good power gains from the heads cam and intake but the question is how and i'm going to go ahead and get rid of our stock ls2 the question is how does the modified ls2 compared to we're going to compare it basically to a cam only ls3 and the nice thing about the ls3 is it, it basically already has what we had to add to the ls2 it already has heads that flow way more than the stock ls2 because the rec port heads flow way more than the factory 243 heads do so a sense it already has ported heads if you will and so we added a brian Tooley camshaft to this thing again i'll go ahead and put the specs on the camshaft up it was a pretty good size cam kind of a stage four ish type cam i don't even know if they make this cam anymore it was run quite a bit the other thing that the ls3 has it already has a really good intake manifold it's really hard to beat the factory ls3 intake manifold we ran a 90 or 92 millimeter throttle body on this thing we already had headers on it we had the holly hp management system so we did an optimized tune in the mazira electric water pump but you can see that the bigger 6.2 liter made more power and and did so um by a pretty good bit although at the very very top you know we're looking at peak peak power numbers of 572 horsepower peak torque was way up on the ls3 526 foot pounds of torque so while the difference in power was you know 10 12 horsepower which is not a ton out at 6500 7000 but the gain in torque is tremendous um here at 4700 rpm we have 467 versus 522 so you're looking at you know 50 60 foot pounds of torque it's a pretty big jump and since average torque <laughs> or average power production is what really accelerates the vehicle you'd notice those kinds of gains when you're picking these things and that's why as we talk about a bigger motor is a it's really hard to beat displacement especially when it also has lots of head flow and a good camshaft so let's take a look at an even wilder combination on both the ls2 and the ls3 okay guys let's take a look and see what happens when we apply even wilder modifications on our six liter ls2 and a 6.2 liter ls3 starting off with our six liter we have a modified version that where we had we also modified the short block so we put four draws and forged pistons in, in this case from cp and carrillo they were a flat top piston no valve reliefs in this thing we we topped it off with first of all we had our comp 469 cam again just like with the other one 617 624 231 247 and a 113 lsa but we topped this thing off with a set of airflow research 230 uh, v2 uh cylinder heads they were cathedral port but these were 58 cc's so they had small chambers on them which helped bring up the static compression ratio and obviously helped this thing make power we also put inch and seven eighths headers on this thing and we ran a fast lsxr intake manifold 102 millimeter throttle body and when we combined all of this together we made pretty good power with a six liter getting up near 600 horsepower 592 horsepower peak torque check in at 501 to put that into perspective to compare that to our other modified ls2 that made 560 horsepower and 500 or 481 foot pounds of torque so you can see we're we're kind of up everywhere we got good airflow research heads and you know we've got a lot of stuff going for this thing same kind of camshaft but uh, much more head flow you know more compression all, all of that stuff so that's what happened here but let's find out what happens and how that compares to an ls3 when we apply the same kind of technology because up until then we've been using just the factory ls3 heads here's what happened when we stepped up our game on the ls3 you can see we made a lot more power once again we have a, a btr camshaft i'll go ahead and put the specs up here so the camshaft is probably something that's a bit more aggressive and itself more powerful 
than that um, than the smaller uh, 469 camshaft than we ran in the LS2, but also this LS3 received new cylinder heads. I mean, the factory LS3 heads will flow a lot and support a lot of power, obviously, but even more so, we put Airflow Research LS3 heads on it, and these particular LS3 heads were milled about 20 or 25 thousandths, so we had to increase the static compression ratio even more. We had flat top pistons in this LS3, we had a uh, mildly ported factory LS3 intake manifold on this thing. We also had inch and seven eighths headers on this thing um, up from the LS3. You know, I've done testing with the headers and it's not been a big change in power. Sometimes we could get a little bit more up top and then sometimes it reconfigures the curve just a little bit in the middle. But we never see like, oh, here's 10 horsepower, 20 horsepower, 30 horsepower. Some guys some guys tell you, hey, look how much more these, these slightly bigger headers make. We haven't really seen that. But on this this combination, the LS3, once again, it's it's bigger. It's got, relatively speaking, more head flow because the Airflow Research 260 Mongoose heads flow more than the 230 Cathedral Port heads do. Although it'd be interesting to see um, at every lift range kind of how they compare. But the larger motor, more head flow, you know, probably equal or so on the intake manifold flow. But really, it's just so much easier to make more power with a bigger motor. I'm Richard Older. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing. But here's something I want you guys to comment on before you go. Would you guys choose an LS3 over the LS2, or would you just take a six? liter truck block and maybe make a 408. Let me know.